Hi, what's up guys? My name is Wesley Om and uh, I'm the president of Casina and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a simple classic carbonara or as classic as I can get. Right, so first off, uh, we're gonna start with about half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. This is just Kraft. Um, you can buy it in the grocery store anywhere. Uh, this is bacon. Now, I want to preface something. I want to just say that normally people in Italy use guanciale or pancetta. Guanciale is the cured pork cheek or pork jowl and normally they use that because there's just so much fat in it and it's so delicious. Or uh, pancetta, which is basically Italian bacon. And I don't have any of those, so I'm gonna be using regular bacon that I cut up earlier. Uh, pretty roughly. Uh, we wanna render this out in the pan later, so uh, stay tuned for that. And two egg yolks and one egg white. So first thing you wanna do, uh, in a big cauldron, enough to hold like a handful of spaghetti Fill it up like about halfway through or enough for the spaghetti noodles to be submerged in. Fire is on and now we wait for that to boil. Some people like putting salt inside the pot but um, the bacon and the parmesan are salty enough plus the egg. So I think if I put salt in the water it's gonna be too salty. Also do not put oil. Never put oil while we're waiting for the water start boiling. I'm going to mix the parmesan cheese into the eggs. Something I forgot to mention earlier, you have to put some black pepper. All right, so now that the water is boiling, you can, as you can see, that's pretty hot. Let's just dunk the spaghetti noodles inside. I'm gonna get a pair of uh, thongs, and you guys should have a pair of thongs. Mix the pasta like this. Now while that's happening, Put your bacon into a cold pan, just spread it out so that it renders out easily and properly and no parts of it burn and you want to turn the heat up to about a medium or medium high. And now we just wait for that to render out. Uh, we'll come back to that later. Uh, these two should finish at about the same time so uh, don't worry about it. Here the uh, bacon sizzling and ooh, it smells great in here guys. You want to just mix it around a little bit so that every part of the bacon gets cooked. Uh, don't worry about the bits of uh, fond there stuck in the bottom. It'll come off later when we uh, mix the noodles into the bacon. I mixed together the egg yolks and the parmesan cheese. And uh, I used a bit too much parmesan cheese. You guys can um, put as much or as little as you guys want but if you don't want this much parmesan cheese then that's fine. Yeah, you want it to be well incorporated and look something like this. Uh, all of the oil came out and rendered out from the bacon fat. The pasta here is al dente. Turn off the heat and we'll pour the al dente noodles straight into the still hot pan and mix the al dente noodles with the pasta, with the bacon fat I mean. Like that, like so. And if there's water getting in, don't worry about it guys, it's fine. The water will help thicken and make the sauce creamier and it'll taste great. Now I've just turned the heat on, medium low. I'm gonna use this and pour a little bit of the pasta water, the starchy pasta water, and just mix it in properly, you know? Make sure the heat is very, very low. You don't want to overcook your eggs when you pour them in. So you wanna pour your eggs in now. Of course, the eggs became uh, very creamy and sticky when I mixed in the Parmesan cheese. Again, you don't have to use this much Parmesan cheese. You guys can use as much as you guys want. But uh, it is essential to use like raw eggs. Or like an egg and an, an egg yolk. And now you just want to mix this constantly, like constantly mix this. Make sure it doesn't stay, make sure it doesn't stop moving because you want it to get Creamy. Now if you can see, look at the sauce, it's getting creamier. The emulsion of the egg yolks with the pasta oil and the pasta water and the starch getting all mixed together into this pan. We're gonna plate this pasta now and we're gonna be able to do that with this pair of thongs. Alright, tada guys! 
I made traditional, great smelling carbonara. Um, at this point, you guys can add some more uh, Parmesan if you guys really want to. I already put a lot in the eggs, as you saw. Um, the great thing about this is that it's easy, it's simple. All you have to do is make sure the eggs keep moving when you're stirring it. And when you've added the eggs in, you stir it constantly so it doesn't become stir-fried noodles with egg. Alright, so um, that's all for me today. Peace out, guys. Thank you.